2020 made me learn that the hard way, especially in my country, Togo, where policemen are everywhere looking for who to flog and who to, to arrest. Just in case you're here for the very first time, my name is Mercy, and this is me wishing all of you a happy, happy, happy new year. And this is actually my first video this very year. I'm super excited to be doing this today. Then I'm so sorry for being MIA for some time now, for some months, yeah. And I'm sorry, it was just unintentional, it was a planned for, okay. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you 10 things I learned from the year 2020. I miss the rough and tough times, I miss the chaos, I miss the challenges. We all made it through this year. I'm not just making it through this year. We all have something we've learned from last year. And just in case you've learned nothing from last year, then you have to really pay good attention to all I'm going to be saying now. So you can apply them to this year and make this year a better, a stronger, and healthier one. Okay. So before oh. I go ahead to share with you my 10 lessons from 2020, if you're new to my channel or if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so as it means a whole lot to me. And don't forget, it's very simple and easy to do. Thank you as you do that. So the very first thing on my list or the very first lesson from 2020 for me is the fact that health is wealth. Nothing is more important than having a functional body system. If money can really buy health, I, then I'm beginning to wonder why so many rich men died last year. Okay, so in my opinion, and I'm sure that is your opinion too, money can't buy health. Having a functional body system is much more important than the money in your account, in your bank account. It's much more important than all the cars that you have, all the expensive bags, all the expensive clothes you have. Health is much more important than those things you call riches. So a healthy man is much more richer than a man with a lot of cars, a lot of billions in his or her, in his bank account, right? And number two on my list is plan for the worst. Plan for the worst. The world is not ours, and we don't have the power to decide what happens tomorrow. We don't even have the power to know what happens the next minute. We can only assume. Or even imagine you don't have the power to decide what happens. So, with this understanding, we need to prepare for the wars. We should realize that anything can happen at any time. You should plan for the good and also plan for the bad. People can fail you at any minute, people can disappoint you. Things can just move from good to bad, from bad to worse at any given time. Okay, now we had COVID 19 last year. Who was expecting that to happen? Like, who, who saw that coming? Nobody. So because we don't have the power to see the future, it happened. And we are forced to do what? To cope with it. And if you were not prepared for that, what would you have done? Number three is importance of owning a skill. I am a skill developer and everywhere I go, I preach skill acquisition. Skill acquisition, the importance of having a skill. What would you do if your boss sucks you today? What would you do if your job fails you today? Do you have any backup plan? You see why it's important to have a skill. Your skill is always your backup plan. Even if you are stuck from your job, I intend to have uh, to get another job. Your skill can actually sustain you to when you get a job. But you have nothing doing. Okay, an instance is uh, the outbreak of COVID-19. So many people lost their jobs at very moment. And I'm just imagining how those without skills cope. So it, there's nothing as important as having a skill. Even if you're working class, you'd have a skill because the skill is going to make you different and unique from your colleagues. So please, if you don't have a skill, please try to acquire one this year, 2021, no matter how small it is. Please apply a skill. Skill acquisition is a path to financial independence. So I will preach it tomorrow. I will preach it next tomorrow. I will preach it next year. I will preach it forever. Girls, have 
a skill. This is to you girls. Please have a skill. My the number four lesson is learning not to listen to others' opinion of you. Hey, everyone has something to say about everything those days. Yes. And if you don't want to kill yourself, if you don't want to be depressed or end up committing suicide, do not listen to others' opinion of you. So long as you're not doing anything bad, so long as your conscience is clear, so long as you're not hurting anybody, so long as you're not doing something terrible, do not listen to anybody's opinion of you. If you do, you end up pleasing them and displeasing yourself. Remember, the goal is to love yourself this year. So prioritize yourself this very year. Don't love anybody more than you love yourself. Love yourself first. And then you can learn how to love somebody else, okay? So please do not listen to anybody's opinion of you. I learned that last year and it's worked for me. Listening to people's opinion of you is actually bad for your health. Yes, it's going to affect you mentally. It's going to affect you mentally. So please, my dear people, do not listen to others' opinion of you. Number five is don't do so much at a time. Yeah, I'm guilty of that. Last year, I found myself doing so many things at a time. And it was very, very difficult to balance those things. Okay, so I resigned from my job the previous day, okay, 20, 20, 2019. Yes, yeah, so I resigned from my job. And then 2020, I had to enroll for um, sewing. That should be January, February, March. Just after that, COVID-19 came up. I was at home. And then I had to start up my YouTube channel and then my Facebook page because I needed a platform where I can encourage people to acquire skills, okay? So just a few weeks into that, I got a job even without applying. And then the pay was, it was good. So it was really difficult for me to turn down the offer. I had to accept the job. And it became more difficult for me to balance my job and then my sewing and also the YouTube channel and the Facebook page. At some point, I had to post some. Because it was really, really, it was just so difficult for me to handle. I was not effective anymore. And the best thing was to post them. I had to post my YouTube channel and then the Facebook page, which explains why I have been listening in action on YouTube channel for some time now. And also on Facebook, because I needed some time for myself, okay? So right now, I'm working as a secretary, and then I'm also sewing as a part-time job, yeah. Now, number six is just start. No matter how little your, your idea, your vision is, just starts from somewhere. I'm sure you all have plans for this year. You have things you want to do this year. Please just start. Just start first. From the onset, the picture is not going to be clear. But as time goes on, you will actually learn to adjust certain things. You learn to add and remove certain things until you get to the level you want that to be and to the shape you want that very thing to be. So just start that business idea, so just start. Way. Don't procrastinate. Don't be waiting for the right time. Don't wait till you, you've made enough money. Just start from somewhere and every other thing will start falling into place. Number seven on my list is the importance of family. Okay? Family. The importance of your family can never be overemphasized because they are the only ones that will be there for you in all situations. I had a very terrible experience last year and I'm so thankful to God that I was with my family during this moment because I really felt I was... <laughs> let, me, let me not even delve with that, but then I've learned the importance of family, importance of family bonding and COVID-19 uh, quarantine. It really made our bond stronger and I'm thankful to God for that. So number eight is be your own source of happiness. Don't let somebody decide when you are to be happy and when you are to be sad. Always be happy. Always find ways to make yourself happy. You alone can love yourself the way you want to be loved. Nobody else can love you more than yourself. Okay? So try to make yourself happy no matter how. Okay? Make yourself happy. Be your own source of happiness. Number nine says mental health is important too. Yeah. Just like I explained in um, 
number one health is wealth your mental health too is very very important okay if they are cool you should let go for you to be fine please let go of them mind what you listen to mind people you listen to mind what you think about so you don't end up being depressed or even committing suicide so <laughs> last but not the least is I learned how to use a facial mask. <laughs> yeah, I know this is funny. But it's funny, yeah. But then I learned how to use that. And it's an achievement because prior to 2020, I do not use anything here. I can't even tie hand to chair here, even for a phone. I don't do that because I can hardly breathe with those things on. So 2020 made me learn that the hard way, especially in my country, Togo. Where policemen are everywhere looking for who to flog and who to, to arrest because of facial mask. So I have to learn how to use facial mask. And look at me, it's it's one. I'm a proud facial mask user. <laughs> so guys, thank you for watching to the end. If you love me and you love this video and you would want to see more of my videos and more of my face here, please like this video subscribe to my channel share and drop a nice comment see you in my next video bye